Okay, YouTube, we're back again. Um, let's see here. We're back again, and we're looking at the, again, the uh, performance of a grid tie inverter, 500 watt grid tie inverter that is connected to a battery bank, okay, a 24 volt system as opposed to connecting directly. Um, to the grid, I mean, I, I'm sorry, as opposed to connecting directly to some panels. Um, and again, the reason why we're doing this is just to show, to see if it's, you know, if it's, a, if I get better efficiency or better performance by connecting to the battery bank as opposed to connecting to the panels. Um, and this is a verification, you know, like any, you know, any scientific experiment and so forth. It's got to be repeatable. And again, what we want is more detailed information from the trimetric. Okay, this is hour number two. The local time is uh, 9.42 uh, a.m. And the voltage after an hour is 25.2. Okay, um, as I, you know, theorized earlier and verified in my first series of videos, the as the sun rises, the amperage coming out of the battery bank should decrease. Uh, we started off at uh, just uh, just just over 10 amps coming out of the battery bank. Now we're down to just over six amps coming down uh, coming out of the battery bank. Uh, we are at 96 percent. It's been it's been two hours so far. All right, and the let's see the watts that are coming out. I don't know if you can see that, but it's 473. 72, 73 watts coming out, I mean, being put into the house, okay, being put into the house. Again, this is, all of this is just for verification. I got the idea uh, from Fearless Thinker, um, you know, in his efficiency tests and his questions. I mean, they were honest questions, you know, uh, what was, in, you know, what was the, the readings coming from the trimetric during this time? So I'm going to show you what those readings are. Again, right now we're holding st holding steady at 25.22 uh, volts uh, under load. Um, you know, negative uh, six amps uh, basically coming from the battery bank. We're at 96% uh, as far as the state of charge. Okay, what are we running? Uh, we're putting you know obviously energy back into the ho the house. Uh, through the grid tie inverter and um, we also are running you know four fans to keep the charge controllers you know uh, cool even though it's cool outside um, you know again charge controllers you know they can they can warm up okay we also have I also have this inverter powering some accessory devices um, you know like a camera system and so forth uh, for one thing or a camera um, and we have that fan over there going. I don't have this fan going because there's really no need. Um, the local temperature, okay, on inside of this room is roughly 75 degrees. That's a good thing. 75 degrees between 75 or between 70 and 80 degrees. Um, you know that's good for these batteries. They they perform well, even though these are AGMs and they don't really don't have a lot of temperature issues to deal with. Um, but they do they do well when it's you know when it's like 70 between 70 and 80 degrees like all batteries really um, and again we're holding steady as far as the voltage um, and uh, let's see so okay this is this is part two we're moving forward again uh, with verification okay and uh, stay tuned for part three